Ash20X Games Tutorials Unboxing Reviews. I'm happy to help you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to receive new content. Hello my friends and Ash20X here. I need to do a favor and like this video before we did something. So as you can see here, we are in iOS 11 and we want to downgrade back to iOS 10.3.3. There's a few scenarios. So you have to download the IS 10.3.3 final release by Apple and I'm going to provide everything in the description and on the instructions. If you have your device in recovery mode, you need to fix first your device if you want to keep your information. If you want to keep your information, you are in the right place. First, you have to download the IS 11 beta 4 and then what you're going to do, you're going to update to IS 11. So you're gonna update your iPhone to iOS 11 if you are in recovery mode. So in order to fix this, you're gonna update to iOS 11. This is for the people that have the recovery stuck and you cannot downgrade back. So go ahead and update your device to iOS 11, all right? So when you finish updating your device to iOS 11 because your device is in stock, you're gonna go back here to this instruction. Now what we're gonna do is you are now in iOS 11, you're gonna head out to settings general, and then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for the reset. You're gonna reset all the settings. After you reset all the settings, your device will restart. So depending on your device, it's gonna take a little while. Once you reboot your device, you need to put your device now in recovery mode. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, depending of your iPhone. Of course, if you have the iPhone 7, it's a different story because you have to press the power button and the down button. But if you have an iPhone 6s below, you have to press the power button and the home button, all right? In this case, I got the iPhone 6s and I'm going to put my device in recovery mode so now we're gonna put the device in recovery mode so what we're gonna do we're gonna press the power button and home button since this is the 6s so you're going to continue to hold that button and then what is gonna happen your device would shut off but don't release the buttons yet you need to wait for the iTunes logo so the device would shut down what we're gonna do is to wait do not release the button yet so continue to hold those buttons then the device will turn on do not release yet now you can release the button when you see the iTunes logo now iTunes will show you that the device is in recovery mode do not restore your device unless you want to delete the information but if you want to keep the information you need to update your device back to iOS 10.3.3 so in order to do that what we're gonna do as always you have to press shift or option and I'm gonna show you once a minute you're gonna press shift if you are Windows or if you're gonna press option if you are Mac then you're gonna hold the button and then you're gonna press update all right Keep that in mind in order to this to work. So you're gonna look for iOS 10.3.3, the final release. In my case, I'm going to downgrade to iOS 10.3.3. So where you download the files, you're gonna locate that file and then you have to update back to iOS 10.3.3. So you're gonna see the toggle to update. The depending time will be more than six to so seven minutes, maybe seven, eight, but it's gonna it's not going to take a while. So leave your device alone and wait to the process complete.
that the phone has been restarted we are now in iOS 10.3.3 with the information that's the most important part we now are with the information And this is very important is in the description will be the instruction of everything so if you guys have problems and the discretion will be all the instruction in order to do that so now we back to is 10.3.3 as you can see here and we keep the wallpaper as you can see we are now in is 10.3.3 with the iOS 11 wallpaper, how cool is that? <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, we are in fact in iOS 10.3.3. If you have problems with your device, if you have problems, what you're gonna do? Uh, this is very important because what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to edit and then you're gonna go to preference. And in preference, you're gonna select the device tab. If you have a backup from iOS 11, you need to backup archive this backup. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna press the device you are running and then you're gonna select prevent iPod and iPhone to back and synchronize automatically. Then you're gonna hit okay. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna backup your information. This is if you having problem with your device. After you backup your device, what you're gonna do, you're gonna restore back to iOS 10.3.3. Very important because if you don't if you have problems what you gonna do you're gonna restart back to is 10.3.3 from everything and then you're gonna apply the backup that you make in is 10.3.3 and that fix the problems every problems that you may encounter with your device and yeah that's it guys like this video and thank you for everything goodbye